Today we've got a spreader with, and I'm just getting in close here, a bent crossbar, uh, as you can see. So we don't know what happened here. Uh, it's a used spreader, probably came to the back and tried to force something through. And obviously that piece didn't want to go through. So that's what we have. Uh, we need to replace this. So we're going to swap these things out. So the first thing you're going to have to do is these bolts in the front on both sides are three quarter inch. You're going to loosen both of them. I'm going to let Aaron do that while I'm talking here. An impact would be ideal. And then on the end here, you're going to have two nuts. One is a lock nut. The other is the actual little drive. That is a 9 16th size. So you're going to loosen the outer one before you loosen the inner one. And what he's doing there is going to release tension on the actual chain itself. Now, forgive my shaky camera in the shadow. We've got two more bolts that we're working with here. So we're gonna come in. This is on the right side of the spreader, back to three quarter inch to loosen these up. You don't need to take them off. Just loosen them up and you can even see the chain started to loosen there a little bit. And then really where his sharp tensioner is right there. There you go. And that loosened the chain a lot. So you can see the slack that we have here all the way down the spreader. Now, next thing we're going to do is climb in and actually take this bar out. I'm going to get in a little bit closer here and pull that bar. You can see it's twisted and I'm going to show you how we even found it. I'll give my walking around. You can see that the the chain is risen up a little bit here. There's definitely an issue if your chain is doing that. So uh, right here, we're gonna take this this piece and just lift it out. Aaron, I'm gonna let okay. you do your thing. I'm gonna come over here. Yep, that'll start. work. Sorry, I'm standing on it. Getting all the slack I can. So he got all the slack he can work with. If you're following what's going on here, you just twist these links together. Incredibly simple. I'm gonna let you get your slack on this side as well. Pull your slack, twist the link to get it out. And out we go for that rod. Here, I'll jump out, grab you the new one. All right, make sure you keep track of which links are on which sides, all those kind of things. I'm gonna shape these back together. Very simple, like you can see. If you don't know how many links are on each side, you can just count and make sure that this side is equal to this side, like what he's got right there, and then uh, just make sure they're matched up. That way you've got this even consistency side to side that you're working with. You don't want these crossbars to come through crooked. So coming back in here, pull those tight, connect them together. important to have that slack because you can see that it still takes a little bit of effort and then last connection is going to be over here on this side. Now he's going to have to fight his slack a little bit so a little bit more more effort goes into that. You see though this crossbar right here was crooked and is now coming in to be even with the rubber flap that we're working with. That's what you're going to want in the end. Now he's fighting the slack here. And pry bar. Mm, okay. Pry bar, big screwdriver, something to get that, that link through if you're really fighting your slack. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Wrestle with it a little bit. Now we've got a new slat in here. Uh, you tension. can definitely tell which one that is. So we're going to go back and tension everything up. Side. We're going to start on this side. This might be common sense, but make sure your tractor's not running while you're doing this. We're going to start right in here and then we're going to watch the chain. It's going to draw it in a little bit. So what we've got is 
about three or four inches of space there. That's what you want. Uh, it may be touching a little bit on, you can see it's gonna ride right there on that shield. Uh, and then up here again, but you wanna make sure that you have a little bit of slack, but pretty reasonably tight. Uh, once you got that nut locked down, you're gonna put your lock nut on top of it uh, to make sure that that one holds it still. And then after that, we can come by and tighten our three quarters on the side. do my two cents here and be so helpful You're tighten and again watch that chain snug up there we go let me lock this down on top simple straightforward come in with a three-quarter and tighten these two sides Now, the inside should be straight, square, simple. You can see which one's the new one, obviously. This is a used spreader, so it's easy to tell. And that's all there is to it.